Good morning. So the street is still closed off. A couple lanes here on South Street between Queen Street and Holly Kawila. Also, a bus stop. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see bus stop on Route. 42 is closed off here on South Street. We did see a lot of school kids here waiting at the bus stop. The bus, though, did stop in the middle of the street here to let those kids on. That did back up a lot of traffic that was behind the bus, but that bus does seem to be trying to at least let customers on to the city bus. Um, here, on South Street, the water has stopped, but DWS crews just got to the location. He is checking to locate where that break is so that they can come out here and excavate it and make sure that they fix the situation. We do have to tell you that there are 11 businesses in this area that are affected. The Hawaii State Federal Credit Union is affected, and uh, the man there was saying that there are 130 employees there, and he's going to have a lot of trouble with about 14. Bathrooms. They're going to have to provide water to those um, services and facilities there. Also, there's a senior um, assisted living building here that may be affected, and also a Toyota service. Also, of course, the fire department headquarters will be affected here, and the deli shop here. This was all reported about 2:30 this morning, and right now the Malka bound lanes, just about two of them, are closed. But it does seem like traffic is still coming through. Here. Here. So you wouldn't really have to take any of these alternate routes because it doesn't look clogged up here. But I do have a feeling that when those BWS crews begin to excavate this area, when they do locate the leak, that it's going to be a much different situation on this road here. Reporting live, Nanokawa, KITV4 News. Back to you.